I'm Pierce Alexander Lilhol. I'm down here in Floaty Boats Cabin, and I'm about to be putting in a refrigerator. That's right. This little boat is about to have some cold beverages and fresh, not rotten food. So, so we've run into a, a bit of a snafu. What's the snafu, you might ask? Well, the snafu is that the air conditioner is measured to the millimeter. What does this mean? This means nothing. No, this means that right now, the air conditioner can't get to where it needs to go. So, because of that, Here's a little camera mount. Let me show you guys what's happening. As you know, I like to just keep the camera rolling. So I'll let you guys see for yourself what kind of situation we're in. Here we go. Um, and I already know what kind of situation we're in. It's looking like a situation where we're going to have to bust out the drill. Which is why I already busted it out. And I never take out the drill. I only bust it out. So this is busted out. So that means we're about to be, we're about to be moving some things around with a drill. I didn't think I was gonna need the drill for this air conditioner, but well, we'll see. And by we'll see, I mean we're gonna need it. Okay. Ooh. All right, we're back here. Wow, that light is really bright. Okay, let me let me lock you guys in. All right, we're locked in. We've got some we've got some professional camera gear. <laughs> okay, what do we really got going on here? Okay, so. Put this back here. Actually, I'll put this on the porta potty. And I'll show you the problem here. Here's the air conditioner. I don't know how to get a good angle on this. This needs to go right in this area. Problem is, when we go to put this in, no matter how I try to get this in there. If I start from if I start from any angle other than straight in, well, it doesn't want to go. And because this is measured down to the millimeter, this right here, this power strip that I installed is officially in the way. So I think what we're going to try to do is just take this off and then we can just slide this right back in. That's all theoretical, but I think everything should fit very nicely after. Whoa! Hey, where'd you guys go? We're back. That's a little, that's being on a boat. Sometimes it rocks around. All right, let me stabilize you guys. All right. Need to get some better lighting. This thing is terrible but it's good for working so let me try to get this unscrewed now the question is should I mount this back on here again or should I mount this somewhere else and I'm kind of leaning towards the somewhere else option I'm looking at behind the power inverter back all the way back there that might be a good place to put this because well, if I do need to take this this cooler um, freezer thing out again let's say you know something gets weird and funky in there and I want to dump it I mean, this being here, it's 
see, is this going to cut the lights? No, that's good. Um, yeah, something weird and funky. Don't want that. So let's see. Ooh. That's flickering. Oh, that's really flickering. Okay. That is all but one screw. Now, funny thing about that one screw, uh, this plug's kind of blocking it, so we might go dark for a second. Don't worry, I'm right here. Don't be scared. What was that to? I don't know. This one though. Get ready. Whoa! Well now I can't even really see. I'm gonna use this. Okay, there we go. You guys got the light for me. See, it's good I was shooting this video. Okay. Let's see. One of these had light. There we go, and we're back. <laughs> All right, so question is, can we get this air conditioner box? Whoa, I might need to turn on the air conditioner in here. And this is not an air conditioner box. I just said air conditioner box. What we're looking at here is this thing being really close to not fitting. So, what needs to happen is, see this shouldn't be sitting all crookedy like that. See how it's like angled? So I'm gonna have to cut some supports, maybe two or three, drill them together, screw them in, put them under there, so this thing can, uh, can sit flat but all in all that does fit which is which is good it just due to the uh, the shape of the boat as you can see it curves around it's not it's not exactly fitting perfectly and as you can see by my sweaty shirt it's hot in here um, I think it's gonna be time to break out the generator, fire that bad boy up, get this place cooling down because pff, that's what it's there for. So let me uh, let me do that before I do anything too crazy with the refrigerator. But the refrigerator is about to be rocking and rolling. It is. It's gonna come in handy down in Maryland. That will be a good way to. Uh, to bring groceries to the boat and to essentially have something that keeps not only drinks cold but food fresh as well so we're we're closer it's all about it's all about getting closer that uh power strip is temporarily uninstalled so stay tuned for the next episode of floaty boats cabin where I try to level that thing out and I'm not going to try. I'm going to 
succeed in leveling that out. And then we'll have an operational refrigerator. And you're probably wondering why don't I just keep it like that? There was something written on the box that said you should keep this thing level. So I'm gonna try to do that. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go up on the deck, cool down a little bit, and I'm gonna try to fire up that generator and get this air conditioner air conditioning because it is not only hot but it is humid down here so time to get a little bit cool oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> 